Oh, alrighty then. Okay, not only do I build the models, do my own electronics, design my own electronics, but I design my own cabinets and model bases as well. So I'm going to take this opportunity really quick to show you the basics of how to use a square and how to mark and cut a piece for your own cabinet. Now what you're going to need is basically either a carpenter's pencil or a number two pencil. Here we go. And either a pocket knife or a steak knife to trim the pencil. Now here's how you use a square. There's an inside scale and an outside scale as you can see here. Now I want this to be 12 by 14 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the inside scale right up to the corner. I want it to be 14 inches long so I'm going to come up here with my pencil and mark a spot just on the other side of the actual 14 inch mark. Now I want to flip that square over and I want to come over 12 inches from the end. So let's see. One, two, see. I want to bring it right up to the factory edge. I want to mark right on the 12 on the outside scale. <coughs> now, now that I've done that, I can move it up a few inches. Make sure I'm along the factory edge. Mark it right on the 12. Do that again three or four times off the factory edge on the 12. Back up. Okay, I'm right here at my 14 inch mark. So I'm going to go just below that. Get on my factory edge. Mark my 12. Flip the square over on the flat side. Align all four parts. And mark. Now I've got a straight line for my 12 inch mark coming 12 inch from the factory edge over and then up here I've got my 14 inch mark I want to lay the fact I want to lay the factory edge right along the side here and mark for my 14 so I've got a good clean mark for my 12 by 14 piece of wood that is going to be the base for the 1 25th scale guardian gate diorama. So there's a quick lesson on using a square. Now I'm going to cut this up and cut up another piece for the bottom. Then I've got to go and do some more work on Lance's refit again. <laughs> this is Lance's refit base. This base I designed and redesigned and had cut and then had it cut a second time. This base is designed to look just like a helm section of the Enterprise or one of the little side stations that could be placed virtually anywhere around the bridge on the refit Enterprise. Now I've built this cabinet. This is where all the electronics are going to be housed. Up here you're going to have a deflector dish array circuit. You're going to have two phaser fire control circuits. You're going to have some blinkies and different lights going on like right here where you see all the round lights. These are This was taken directly off of screen capture and or the blueprints for the refit. Now I've also got the helm, roll pitch yaw, and all of that's going to be lit up. The roll pitch yaw is going to be sequenced so as if the ship was moving in three dimensional space you will see the lights change and shift so that it looks like the different movements that the ship is making in space so that it's representative of the actual position north south east west and on the xyz axis so you got roll pitch and yaw so you're going to there's going to be four designations for each one of those roll pitch and yaw now i've designed the base, built the cabinet, and I'm working on all the custom electronics. I'm not buying any of these electronics for this base from anyone else. All of this is going to be my work. 
as you can see right here you can see Jack's original series gold and black command delta and here you see the bottom of the refit and I'm showing all of this now because I've been working on the electronics off and on for weeks and I'm gonna have to start stuffing the electronics in here but before I do that I have to get the deflector dish circuit or deflector array circuit done and I have to get the uh, photon torpedo circuit now the engineering hall is not gonna set that high I'm gonna have to get with Lance and find out exactly how high off the deck he wants that to sit now imagine this with all these lights underneath going off and on and blinking that's going to give a real good representation of how the actual refit looked in the movie when they used all those little dental mirrors to light various sections but I'm also working really hard on getting each one of the beauty lights just exactly right so that they the beauty lights show on the neck the nacelles the primary hull etc etc so this hasn't just been a refit build this has been a complete engineering job from start to finish I mean you're I'm gonna have 12 to 14 circuits in here and sound boards with sounds and lights phasers photon torpedoes deflectors roll pitch yaw this is a showcase piece and it's gonna look totally awesome when it's done and I'm gonna obviously film it on this green screen after I black out or green out the shaft that's holding the Enterprise up I'm also going to be filming the dreadnought on, on green screen compositing the two with a space background so you essentially will have something close to the Mutara nebula scene where the dreadnought's going to be taking on the Enterprise I've also gonna, I'm also going to be filming both original series ships that I'm currently building on this green screen and compositing them together I mean it's gonna look really awesome when it's all done and it would all be done with practical modeling effects with the exception of the green screen work Whoa! and this has been a lot of work anyway there you go Lance's model base and soon we're going to be seeing this lit up and blinking and flashing and red alert, red alert, red alert. Woohoo!